वेलकम आई होप यू आर फाइन विद द ग्रेस ऑफ गॉड टूडे आई हैव वॉट अ न्यू स्टोरी अबाउट द हैप्पी प्रिंस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट देर वॉज वन से प्रिंस हु हैड एवरी थिंग ही वॉन्टिड सो ही वॉज नेवर सैड हिज पीपल कॉल्ड हिम द हैप्पी प्रिंस वैन द हैप्पी प्रिंस डाइड हिज पीपल हैड ए स्टैचू मेड ऑफ हिम The statue was made of lead covered in gold. The eyes were made of blue gems and in his sword was a big red gem. The statue was put up on top of a tall pillar in the middle of the town. In that country the winters were very cold. So every autumn the swallows flew away to a warmer place. That year one little swallow was late. The night he came to town he landed on top of the tall pillar right between the feet of the happy prince the little swallow was just settling down to sleep when he felt a drop of water he looked up to see tears falling from the prince's eyes why are you crying asked the swallow because of all the unhappy things i can see from here said the happy prince what can you see asked the swallow far away in a small room lives a poor woman said the prince her little boy lies ill in bed but his mother had no money for medicines he will surely die little swallow will you take her the red gem from my sword it can save her son's life so the swallow packed out the gem and flew off with it to the woman's house the boy was tossing about in his bed but his mother was so tired she had fallen asleep with her head on the table the swallow put the red gem beside her then he flew back to tell the happy prince it is funny he said but i don't feel cold any more that is because you did a good deed said the prince all the same the swallow still wanted to fly away to the warm land where his brothers and sisters had gone so that night he said to the prince goodbye i am off now Little Swallow replied the prince don't go yet i can see a young man in a bare room where there is no fire he is trying to write but his hand is too cold to hold the pen and he has nothing to eat take one of my eyes that are made of blue gems but i cannot do that cried the swallow please do so i ask begged the prince so the swallow packed out one of the gems from the statue's eyes and flew with it to the young man he dropped the gem into a bunch of flowers on the table when the young man saw it he was so pleased he forgot he was hungry and went on with his work now i can pay my rent and buy some food he said back flew the swallow to tell the prince the good news and now goodbye he added don't go yet pleaded the prince look down there do you see the little girl she was trying to sell matches but her hands were so cold that she dropped them in the vat and now they are of no use her father will scold her when she gets home you must pack out the gem from my other eye and give it to her but if i do that you won't be able to see at all cried the swallow you will be blind please do so i say begged the prince so the swallow took the blue gem and dropped it in the little girl's hand how pretty she smiled when she saw it and she ran off home to give it to her father Once more the swallow flew back to the prince I cannot leave you no now that you are blind I will stay with you and you can use my eyes to see the prince wanted the swallow to fly over the town and tell him what he saw 
One day the swallow saw two little boys sitting under a bridge trying to keep each other warm. Along came a policeman and told them to go home. He did not know that they had no home to go to. They just got up and went up hand in hand into the rain. When he heard this, the prince was very sad. I have no gems left, he said. But my clothes are made of gold. You must pack off a bit and give it to those poor children. Every day the swallow saw someone who needed help and before long all the gold on the prince had been given away. He stood on top of his pillar looking dull and grey but the faces of the poor children were no longer white. Their cheeks were red and their thin arms and legs grew nice and round. They no longer had to beg for bread. Then the snow came, the poor little swallow got colder and colder, but he would not leave the prince. At last he knew that his end had come. Goodbye, dear prince, he whispered as he fell at the statue's feet. Goodbye, replied the prince, and something broke inside him. It was his heart. The next day, the mayor and the town councillors passed by the pillar and looked up at the statue. Dear me, how shabby our prince looks, they cried. He seems to have lost all his jewels and someone has stolen his gold clothes. And look, there is a dead bird at his feet. We can't have that there. It must be taken away at once. We would better take the statue down too, said another councillor. Well, we will put up a better one in its place. Whose shall we put this time? Mine, of course, said the mayor. They took down the prince's statue and melted the lead to make the new one. But the workmen found a broken heart inside that would not melt. So they threw it on the dust heap where the little dead swallow was lying. That night God told his angels, Bring me the two most precious things in this town. They brought him the broken heart and the dead swallow. And God said, You are right. This little bird shall always sing in my garden of paradise. And the happy prince shall praise my name forever. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. May Allah bless you.